What's up guys? Welcome back. Um, so in the last video I said there was something else I wanted to knock out before we head over to Weekend on the Edge and put the girl up on the dyno. And you've probably seen this thing maybe in a few videos. It's been sitting here for a minute. We have a um, catch can by Vibrant uh, Performance. So I, you have probably saw in the last one too. I think you could see it in the wheel well. I've got an awesome little setup in there. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Let me grab a let me grab a proper light real quick. All right guys, so I just popped out the air intake real quick. Um, and you can see now what I was talking about. That focus. That awesome little bracket with the soda can in there. So I um, originally did had was um, venting to atmosphere but I did not like the mess it was making and I decided to do that because I was being cheap and didn't want to buy a catch can. But here we are. Um, after watching some videos with oil, um, you know, and fires causing, it's probably best to just get the catch can and hook it up the right way. So that's what we're gonna do. I was also, um, the catch can just been sitting there for so long because we've been I was waiting to get the air intake Because we're gonna end up Putting the catch can for here for now Probably down the road here when we go ahead and get like a beans valve cover or something um, We'll maybe move it to the other side or something like that um, We can always do that down the road, but I think this will be the easiest and we're just going to use this little leftover metal I have. Should be able to uh, bend this up pretty easy, drill some holes, and make a quick bracket um, to hold that catch can. Took my two times there on the, the holes. I had to go a little bigger and oval out the one. But she's uh, got enough little wiggle room here to kind of get it level. Get a level there. Um, the thing keeps falling off. But you get the idea. Might need to get some more spacers for this. I'm gonna go ahead like round off these corners and that right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and round off the corners, kinda so you can't really tear yourself up on this. Uh, give it a one, two with the rattle can. And then while that dries, throw some oil in here and then we'll get the, uh, get the catch can all uh, mounted up here and then we'll run the, um, the line and get rid of the old one.
while the bracket was drying, I decided to finish up the oil change. And that was the most interesting oil change. Um, let's just say it has to do with that. So, almost spent a, had a uh, all-nighter trying to pull off the valve cover and everything, but we were able, able and successful at some fishing. Uh, so anyways, let's just hop into getting this old little um, energy drink can as a catch can out. Get the new one in and wrap this up. Looks pretty good, a little bouncy, but I don't think that should do, I don't think that should bother too much. So, let's go grab our AM fittings here. Oh, and <laughs> such a great setup. I put this little like foam thing to try and keep the oil from coming out. Don't recommend this setup. It's kind of funny though. Alright guys, um, we got it all installed. Sorry my battery died and I was kind of <laughs> just wanted to get it done. Um, didn't really miss much I don't think. So, um, besides we got the air intake now. And originally I, originally I had the hose um, routed back behind but that wasn't working so I had to run it under through here. Um, and here it is. You have your dipstick right here. Should be easy. Let's see. Should be. Check that. Um, and since this um, is just a factory valve cover, I don't have like a return. Um, so I just bought this cap from Jags and plugged it up. Um, yeah, that's about it. Pretty simple. Um, if you're wanting to do something like this and wondering how I figure out what screws going uh, right here, I just came over here and uh, stole this one back behind here. I just stole that, went to the hardware store um, and got screws that matched it. I forgot what they are so I can't tell you the pitch. It's, um, a fine thread, I think it's like an eight, yeah, I think it's like an eight fine thread or something. But anyways, you can just do that, just rob one of those. So, uh, thanks again for watching. If you guys made it through the whole video, um, if you give it a thumbs up, it means a lot. And until next time, enjoy the ride.